Yeah, hi guys, welcome back to Marathon CrossFit here and today we're going to talk about bench press lockouts and what they're important for. We will get quickly into it in a demo and then I'll also tell you why they actually matter. So let's jump right into it. So here you see me unracking the bar and the bench press lockout is basically just the upper third of the movement. So why this is important I will talk about now. So now that you've seen the quick demonstration of what a bench press lockout is, just a few words. Usually the weakest part of the bench press is actually the about in the lower third of the movement. So um, the lockout itself, usually there you are the strongest and you wouldn't fail the rep there. However, where it becomes really, really, really uh, relevant is if you're bench pressing with a bench press shirt, because the bench press shirt actually helps you a lot in the lower part of the lift but not as much in the upper third of the lift. So if you're planning on bench pressing, power lifting with a shirt, um, just training the upper third of the movement by training lockouts only can be helpful and maybe make you train longer for harder without having as much wear and tear on the elbows. <laughs> 